The purpose of the Fire Prevention Division is to protect life and property from the threat of fire and explosion. This is accomplished through education in San Angelo schools and to the general public, routine fire inspections in businesses and public buildings, and investigation of all fires in which arson is suspected. The role of fire prevention and revitalization of the downtown area particularly is what I think of as intent of the code versus the black and white law of the code. Uh, many of the buildings down here were actually built before there was any semblance or thought of any type of building our fire prevention code. Consequently, a lot of the things that we have to deal with are modern issues in which these buildings were never constructed or intended to adhere to. So what we look at as an organization is the actual intent of the code versus the black and white. Uh, one of the things that was recently adopted by the council uh, helps the residential portion of the downtown area quite a bit. The actual code says any residential occupancy has to be sprinklered. Uh, this is quite expensive. It's a wonderful asset as far as, as fire prevention, fire safety, saving lives, saving property goes. But some of these buildings, because of their actual construction, makes it prohibitive to install these systems. Uh, what the council did approve was smoke detection in lieu of uh, a sprinkler system along with a 30-minute fire barrier. This makes it so that it's reasonable for these buildings to still be within the intent of the code meet what needs to, to be established uh, for a reasonable amount of safety for the people as well as the building itself. The City's Dangerous Building Program addresses buildings within the city limits that are dilapidated, unsafe, and otherwise just a blight on the neighborhood. A lot of these buildings, as you can see, like this one behind me, are dangerous just in their general condition but there's also danger for children, um, animals, there's health hazards, there are various things that can occur because these buildings sit vacant within the city and attract, they are called an attractive nuisance. And as with this one, you can see that it's burned, it has been on fire, and it is an obvious danger to the citizens because of the fact that we do have wood that falls off, floors and steps that are uneven that could break. As you come in, the first thing, of course, you notice is the extent, extent of the fire damage. But what you also notice is we've got insulation hanging from the ceiling. You've got debris all over the floor. And if you look closely at the floor, you can tell it's already been tromped and trampled, which means we've already had a lot of foot traffic through this building. In most situations, we will try and work with a homeowner we will attempt where it is possible to get a building fixed up, at least get it secured so that no one can be going in and perhaps causing more damage or set the building on fire. If that is not possible, such as a structure as this one, then we will work with the owner to try and get it torn down so we can alleviate the situation. It creates an empty lot, but at least that gives a place for new construction to begin.